Hello, this is Mr. Beck. Uh, okay, so in this particular piece, this is part six, uh, and just working with sculpting in Blender 2.5, um, we've got a camera that rotates all the way around the model. Uh, we've got space in the background. Uh, we're going to add some eyeballs to this model, and the purpose of this particular lesson is just to talk about how to add materials to different faces um, within a specific object. Okay, so we're going to assign materials to different faces. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the cursor is snapped to the selection. I'm going to hit Shift S, and I'm going to snap the cursor to the selected item. All right, and then I'll just click out a little bit just so, you know, the cursor is right pretty close to where I want it. Okay, and I'm going to choose Add Mesh, and I'm going to go with a UV sphere for right now. Okay, and that's pretty big, so I'm going to hit S to scale it down. All right, and uh, you know, for the purposes of this, you can see the the tip, the pole, I guess, of this particular UV sphere is up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rotate that because that'll be sort of like the pupil. All right, so I'm going to hit R, and I guess we'll want to rotate this one around the Y axis. So I'm going to hit Y. And I'm just going to spin it just for starters so it looks like that. All right, um, so I'm going to use G and I'm going to move it over, get a little bit closer, and I can, you know, constrain the movements however I want. I'll hit like G and then X and G and then Z. And we'll move it down and we'll get it in there. Okay, and it looks like it needs to be scaled down just a little bit more. It's up to you, okay? Maybe rotate it one more time. All right. And I'm going to try to move it in there. And I'm going to get it as close as possible. And we'll duplicate this when we're ready, okay? So you'll get that situated into your model as best you can so it looks good, okay? Uh, the next step is to go into edit mode. And if you look down at the bottom, uh, we've got several different uh, modes. When you're in edit mode, uh, several different selection modes. You can we're in vertice select mode. This this one right here is edge select mode. But we're going to go into face select mode here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to hit A to deselect all. Okay, up at the top now we're going to work with materials. All right, and uh, I'm going to come over here to the material select button. Okay. And we're going to add a new material slot, and we're going to assign, and we're going to click New Material, sorry. Um, and this will be the default color for, um, for the eyeball, okay? So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll pick something, you know, whatever you want to pick for it is fine. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll pick, like, I'll just make it crazy. I'll go for, like, green, okay? And that'll be the default color, all right? Uh, the next step is to hit now... In Blender 2.5, using circle select is a little bit different than the previous version. You hit C, and you can see that it creates a circle by rolling the mouse wheel in and out. It gets bigger and smaller. So I hit C, and that sends me into circle select mode. And I'm now going to select the center just by clicking on it. And you can see that I've selected, okay, the center of the eyeball. All right? Now the trick is to make that a different color than everything else. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to hit Escape to get out of that. I'm going to create a new material, okay, and I'll go ahead and I'll make this one blue. All right, and with that selected up at the top, all right, and the part that we want to become blue selected on the model, I'm going to click over here where it says Assign, okay, and that's going to assign the material to the selected faces, okay. Um, and if you take a look, if I go into object mode, you can see that we've got that set up. All right, and if you want to go one step further, I'll go back into edit mode again. Um, here, select the eyeball, go into edit mode. I'll go into circle select, and let's select a smaller piece. Right, in the I'll hit A twice to deselect all. And I'll go into circle select, and let's select that, that part just right in the center. Let's assign a third material, okay? Um, I'll create a new material slot. I'll create a new material. Let's go ahead and give it a color, like uh, let's go for pink or red or something like that. And uh, once again, I'm just going to go assign. Okay. And what we have now, when I go into object mode, 
something that looks uh, a little bit closer, okay? So we can rotate that. You can make it look however you want. The next step is to parent this to the, um, the model, okay? Because right now, the head is moving back and forth, but that eyeball will stay in the same spot. So I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to select my model, all right? And I'm going to make sure that uh, both the eyeball and the model are selected. The, my, the, the model itself is a lighter color. And I'm going to hit Control P, and I'm going to choose Parent to Object. All right, and let's test it out. If I hit Alt A, you can see the eyeball is moving with the model, no problem. Okay, so I've assigned colors and I've parented it to the um, object. Um, the easiest thing to do now is just to duplicate it. So I'll select the eyeball by itself. I'll hit Shift D. And then I'm going to use Y to constrain, because when you duplicate an object, it begins its life in grab mode. So by hitting Shift-D, I can just hit Y right afterwards, and I can just pull it straight out like this, and hopefully get it close enough, all right, that it's not quite where I want it, all right. It'll require a little trickery. All right, a little movement. But both of those will now be parented to the object, okay, is the, is the nice thing. Once you've gone through and you've set your colors and you parented it, and uh, once you do the duplication, that parenting is still in effect. If I hit Alt-A, you can see that everything now moves together, okay? So that concludes this particular part of the video, which is just setting up a couple of eyeballs and uh, creating different colors um, 